Good evening, Monarch families. Welcome to the class of 2021, Parent Night, Student Information Night. If you haven't watched any of our Parent Nights for your seniors this year, this is the one to watch. We have a great presentation laid out for you tonight with myself and I am Ms. Chavez, your College and Career Readiness Counselor, and Ms. Jessica Carr, our Activities Director. Okay, let's get to the next slide so we can go over our agenda. These are the topics we are gonna to cover today. We have academic information, summer school, testing requirements for our graduating seniors, parchment, FAFSA, scholarships, next step plans, senior exit surveys, senior checkout, and I only have three bullet points for activities, but there is so much information coming your way for activities. Uh, cap and gown, graduation events, senior events, prom coming, all the fun stuff. So Ms. Carr will take it away after I cover some of the important academic information for our seniors. Okay, next slide, please. Your graduation story. So. Your graduation story has a beginning, a middle, and here we are at the end. So it is important to look at your story, which can be seen in your transcript. That is all your grades from ninth through 12th grade. You want to have reviewed your transcript with your academic counselor and look to see if you met all the graduation requirements. Did you pass all the competency testing requirements? Did you get a letter in the mail saying there was an area where you still needed to demonstrate competency? Do you think you might need summer school? So these are the things to ask yourself and meet with your academic counselor about. Their names are listed on this slide. They're available over email and we are all back on campus now in person. So make an appointment, meet with your counselor if you are in question whether or not you're gonna make it to that finish line. And so we're all rooting for you, but part of the responsibility falls on your shoulders too to make sure that you have everything you need to have done. Okay, next slide, please. We are having a CNM Senior Application Workshop next week on April 13th at 11 a.m. This will be a virtual application workshop with a recruiter and it will be online and the link will be posted in our class of 2021 Google Classroom. So this is a great opportunity if you have not met an area of competency. A college admissions letter will count as an alternate demonstration of competency. So if you attend this workshop, apply for college, and get that acceptance letter from CNM, you can submit that to your counselor to use as an alternate demonstration of competency so you can receive your diploma. This is also good if you haven't applied to college and you don't have a plan, why not apply to CNM? They have so many programs, something for everybody, and it's good to get the help now while it's here, when over the summer you might not have the assistance and support that you need to get yourself applied. All right, next slide. Summer school. If you are teetering on, you know, you might fail a class that you need to graduate, you might not, please meet with your counselor immediately to get summer school set up. If you failed a course you need for graduation, you can enroll to summer school for free up to two whole credits. You can mix and match them. So that's four half credits, two whole credits. Um, meet with your counselor about that to get signed up. There is a separate summer school graduation if you don't have all your requirements met by May 12th. So the important thing is that you get your diploma. So whether you're graduating with us in May or in the summer, we want to keep going for that diploma and never give up. So that's the summer school talk. Um, next slide, please. Parchment, parchment. I've talked a lot about parchment this school year and it's important to know that it's not just something you're going to need when you're a senior in high school you're going to need to order your transcript when you're applying for jobs um, maybe after you finish getting your bachelor's degree and you want to go on for your master's you're going to have to reach back to manzano and order your transcript 
So it's good to get comfortable with the parchment system. That is how you're going to need to order your final transcript to show those colleges that you did in fact get your high school diploma. So when that point comes and you're getting emails or letters in the mail from the colleges saying, send your transcript in, please go to our Manzano High School homepage at manzano at aps.edu and click on the order transcript link, fill out the required fields, fields it's super easy, and send your transcript to anyone. It's fast, free, and super easy. All right, next slide. Of course, I'm going to mention the FAFSA. We had the FAFSA open this year in October, and here we are in April and approaching May, and there is still time to complete this application. So if you've been putting it off because it seems like an overwhelming task or you just don't know where to begin, I'm inviting you all to come see me, set an appointment, um, come talk to me about this. This is very important to get done. If you plan on going to a trade school, to a community college or to a university, um, I want you to get all the money that you're entitled to and all the assistance that can help you in that next stage in your life. So if you're curious about the process, you can go to www.fasa.gov just to see what it's about. They really have simplified the process. And again, I am here as a support to help you get this done. Next slide. Why I think it's so important um, in 2020, $115 billion in grants, loans, and work study funds was awarded to 10.8 million students. So I want our Manzano students not to leave any money on that table. 60% of you do plan on going to college. So this is a way to help pay for that. We have Money Monday workshops every Monday from 3 to 6 p.m. on Zoom. And that's with actual financial advisors from CNM, UNM, New Mexico State. Their financial aid departments have experts to help you get this process done. So the website is listed on this. I post about it on our class of 2021 Google Classroom page every Monday. Um, it is very important to consider if you're on the fence about doing it. And again, if you have questions, please reach out to me. Okay, next slide, please. The FAFSA is definitely a way to get money for school, money for college, money for trade school, beauty school, wherever you wanna go. It is also a way to get very low interest loans and work study, which is getting a job on campus and the way you're paid for your job is through federal funds. The lottery is something you have to, you know, earn your first semester in college. So it's not a separate application. Um, that's something you have to become eligible for after completing one semester in college. The lottery bridge is a way to help you pay for that first semester cost. So um, a lot of these application deadlines for lottery bridge programs are nearing the end, if not have passed, but every school is different. So um, if you have questions about looking for bridge scholarships or which ones you think you might qualify for, come talk to me and we can look at dates and see what we have available. And as always, there are scholarships offered privately, um, school-based merit scholarships, through the WUI, local, outside. I'm posting a lot in our Class of 2021 Google page. So there is going to continue to be money for you to you know, reach out for. Um, and I want to teach you as you leave high school to be able to seek out those opportunities when you're in college or trade school, or maybe you know, after doing a tour in the military or taking some time off, you want to you know, start going into college, then you'll have the skills to look for money and financial aid and scholarships to get your career going into the next level. All right, next slide, please. We do have senior remind codes. 
and I would like to invite you at this time, if you have not signed up for your Remind code, please text the code listed on the screen to 81010. I'm sure our activities director and I are going to be needing to have more communication with you as these next two months unfold. So take a moment, pull your phone out, sign up for your Remind code. And I can post this again in our class of 2021 Google page. And of course, Ms. Carr and I can always get you this information. Being connected, it's very important to us. All right, next slide, please. Connection, I was just talking about how important that is. Class of 2021 Google Classroom has become, you know, a, our sole connection with all of you as far as Posts go, sharing attachments with um, opportunities, scholarships. Um, we also have Twitter and Instagram. So if you're not connected on any of these channels, please reach out, talk to your friends. It seems like a lot of you are on there and active and it's, a, it's proven to be a good resource for you to also reach back and ask us clarifying questions. So we do encourage your connection and, and engagement on these platforms. All right, next slide, please. So the next few slides are just a bunch of dates. I'm going to focus on the academic events and Ms. Carr is going to talk about the fun stuff. But I do wanna kind of give parents and students an overview of important senior dates coming um, starting with April 1st, we had summer school registration. Tonight is our virtual senior parent night and our last one for the year. April 9th is when the ASVAB registration closes. So we are having the ASVAB on campus. If you're interested in taking that, please email Mr. Jaffe at jaffe at aps.edu to get set up for that. The ASVAB will actually be on April 20th at 8 a.m. On April 28th and 29th, Senior e Academy finals are happening then and your course will close on the 30th. And what I've been told is once those courses close, if you're not done, you have to start all over again. So definitely pay attention to that date and time and make sure you're on it to get that eAcademy final done. CEC senior finals are gonna be April 28th, 29th, and 30th. Let's go to the next slide. April 30th is when your final next step plan is due. That's also when your senior exit survey is due. Information about that is posted in the Class of 2021 Google page. April 30th is when the CEC Senior Nursing Finals are. And there's some more CEC Nursing Finals dates. May 4th, we have the AP Calc ABBC exam in the library. Then also kind of overlapping with that, we have um, on April, on. May 4th, 5th, and 6th, senior final exams. Then on May 5th, the AP physics exam in the library. And on May 7th, ADCs are due. And ADCs are, again, going back to that letter. If you got a letter saying that you have not met an area of competency, then you need to reach out to your counselor and please attend that CNM application workshop because that will help you get your diploma. Next slide. All right. And May 10th is when Manzana will have final failure notices. That's when we will know whether you have successfully passed your classes or not to graduate for this semester. So May 10th, very important to meet with your teachers if you're on the fence, get everything turned in that you can, give it one last good hard push so you can pass all your classes and get everything done 
so you can walk the line with us this May. And continuing on into um, May 18th and 28th, there will be AP exams at home, and that is the window for that. And then there's another AP exam window, June 1st through June 11th. So if you're questioning when you're scheduled for an AP test, you can look in your College Board account, and you can always email me with those questions. And I think that might be my last slide. Um, let's go to the next one, just to be sure. Oh, no. We're going to talk about the senior checkout process. I am. I know it's a lot, but like I mentioned in the important dates, the next step plan and senior exit survey are due April 30th. These are APS requirements, district requirements. And so if you did not complete your next step plan in your advisory class, please let me know. I can assign it to you in the class of 2021 Google Classroom. And it literally will take five to 10 minutes. The senior exit survey, same thing, five to 10 minutes. Um, I emailed everybody a reminder about getting that survey completed today. Um, you still have time. So just know that we're starting to run our reports and see who's got everything in. And so you might be um, called or emailed about your next step plan or your senior exit survey, and this is what it's regarding. Your senior exit ticket is the last survey that was just posted, and that was just more of an acknowledgement, like, did you do your next step plan? Did you do your senior exit survey? And once you complete both those items, you should be cleared for the um, ceremony activities that we have planned for you. Next slide. All right, so now that we have all the business out of the way, um, we're gonna bring Ms. Carr up and she's gonna talk about the fun, exciting things that um, you have to look forward to. And um, again, Ms. Carr, I don't think I mentioned, we both put a form in the description of this video. And so if you have any questions, um, fill out the form. One of us will answer your question as best we can. And um, welcome back to the Monarch. It, it was good to see some of your faces. And now I'm going to hand it over to Ms. Carr. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Ms. Chavez. That was a lot of amazing information for this amazing class. And wow, it is creeping up on us. Like it's real quick. So let's talk a little bit about graduation. Yes, we have some updates. So. I hope everyone received my email earlier on in this week letting you know that graduation is May 6th, but it is moved from, well, I'm on the wrong slide right now, but I'm going to tell you, uh, May 12th at 1030, we'll come back to that little part, and um, but graduation is going to be in person, so I'm so excited that I've just messed up because I'm just so excited. But the very first thing we've got to do is our cap and gown distributions, which is going to be Wednesday, May 6th, between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. This will be um, in the gym parking lot. It'll be a drive-through. We'll have campus specialties here with your cap and gown order for you to pick up. Now, this cap and gown distribution is really, really, really important because we need you to be here at that time, that day, if you've got something that's going on that is keeping you from being here, please reach out to me because I need to get these cap and gowns in your hands so you have enough time to hang them and get the wrinkles out. Um, so if though, let's say you haven't ordered your cap and gown for whatever reason. So the number is here on the screen for campus specialties. So give them a call and get your cap and gown ordered so it can be in, in by May 6th. Okay, so the drive-through parade. We started this last year due to COVID and it was pretty amazing. So we wanna keep it going for you guys. So our drive-through parade will be Tuesday, May 11th, the day before graduation at 5 p.m. You're gonna enter in through Chelwood at the campus. You're allowed two cars per graduate. 
and through this you're going to have various people in the parking lot congratulating you and this is just kind of the fun thing i do recognize that um with some requirements and limits to our physical graduation this is a great way it doesn't solve all the problems but it's a very good way to get your whole family involved so um start thinking about how you want to decorate your cars because it was pretty cool what we saw last year now honors assembly our honors award assembly we are not sure yet if it is going to be in person or online but it will be tuesday may 11th right before graduation if we were in a normal setting this is when we would do our walkthroughs for graduation and our practice run and get to have your families come and get some cool speeches and stuff so uh, we don't know what it looks like right now but what i do know is we will have something for you on tuesday may 11th graduation here's the slide my gosh i get i'm very excited about getting a real graduation for you, you all so Graduation is Wednesday, May 12th. It is now at 10.30 a.m. This is what my email talked about earlier this week. So Wednesday, May 12th at 10.30. The location is New Cinda Community Stadium. Way up Nine Mile Hill. Easy, so easy to get to. Completely easy. Right now, as our county is still in the yellow, we are only allowed two guests per graduate. So there will be tickets. But let's all, everyone do your part, wear your mask, social distance, sanitize, wash your hands and everything, because if we can move our county to, which I know we can, uh, to green or to turquoise, that opens it up for all of our graduates to have more family members. And we know that it took a village to get your graduate here. So we want your village to be there. So we are doing everything we possibly can to make sure we will one we have to follow the rules but we want to do everything we can to get your family there so um just keep posted as you see the reports that come out every two weeks take a look at that and we'll know more then okay to decorate or to not to decorate miss v hill was very gracious i asked her i said i know that our students aren't allowed to decorate their caps but can they decorate their masks this year? And she said, uh, yes. And I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I thought it would be something cool. So we are not allowed to decorate our caps, but we are allowed to decorate our mask. Have fun with it. But if it is anything that is um, negative messaging, um, I don't want to see any bad business behavior, okay? And um, if it's really not in the dress code, then don't do it. Because if if it doesn't meet guidelines on it being inappropriate, like let's just say drugs, curse words, gestures, um, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna give you a basic mask and have you take that off and you're gonna have to just wear a real basic mask while everyone else has something really cool. Um, you are not required though to decorate your mask. If you're like, no, it's fine, I'll wear whatever, then just wear your normal mask. But I mean, let's have fun with it, right? But just keep it classy, okay? So dress code for graduation. New Cinda uh, stadium is obviously our football stadium, so let's be really mindful. We're outside, it's 1030 in the morning. So gentlemen, nice slacks, a dress shirt, um, a tie, and dress shoes. Ladies, nice slacks or a skirt or a dress, a dress shirt, uh, dress shoes, Gentlemen or ladies, nobody wear high heels. I'm not wearing high heels. Don't do it because you will get stuck in that grass and unfortunate things will happen. So absolutely no high heels. If you are coming through the line to get your uh, gown, make sure you're all in order and everything and you don't have flat shoes on, we're going to tell you like, hey, you need to get with your parents. Well, parents, your help, help us, help us. So we don't have to have anyone 
go uh, have to get another pair of shoes because I don't think we're really close to a store. If in doubt, just don't wear it, okay? Um, and remember, if you're going to wear a dress, keep it above the length of your gown. The only reason I'm saying this is because you can trip really easy, and we don't want that to happen. Graduation rehearsal. Ah, graduation rehearsal is going to be the day of graduation. So as soon as I know what time we're allowed to get into New Cinda, I will let everyone know. But what's so important about the graduation rehearsal, this is where we're going to line up, we're going to walk through, we're going to practice names. It is so, so critical that you fill out that senior exit survey because that's where I'm getting my information. So please, I don't want anyone left off. I need um, you just to take a quick moment, please and thank you, to fill out that exit survey. And that way, I don't wanna miss anything. If you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, please don't hesitate to email me. We also have a Google form that you guys can fill out and Ms. Chavez and I will be replying to everybody for sure. So, senior drive-in movie. So, prom coming is next week. What's prom coming? Prom coming is a mix-up of homecoming and prom. And I completely recognize that no one was able to have homecoming. So, we're trying to mush them together. The only senior event that we have in person for our seniors is this drive-in movie. It's April 15th. From 7.30 to 9 is what time the movie will air. $25 a car, only five people per vehicle. You can purchase your tickets. You want to go specifically to the Balloon Park Drive-In, enter the events, and scroll all the way to the bottom and go to Manzano specific events. Down here at the bottom of the slide is also that web address. But buy early, okay? And so... That is our big event. Unfortunately, right now, we are not approved um, for any, any dances. So um, all of the Spirit Week will be in person or virtual next week. We're going to have a Disney day, and that will be the week starting off. I can't say everything yet because we have to keep some surprises. But be looking out for Disney stuff and mix match and going to be great. So Spirit Week, if you're staying virtual, all we ask if you want to participate is that you send us images of your student participating in uh, the Spirit Week, and then we'll post them on our social media. And that's all I have for you guys. I know that you guys have been bombarded with information and having to change how we do things like every minute, it seems like throughout this school year. So on my side, I just want to thank you guys for partnering with me to make graduation as special as possible for our seniors this year. Without the Manzano staff and our families, this doesn't happen. So I thank you all. I um, just remember, let's stay strong. Let's finish strong, Monarchs. And we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and bring Ms. Chavez back with us right now. And the form, it's right below. If you look in the description box below, you'll see that form. Fill it out. We'll get back to you. And thank you for your time tonight. Ms. Chavez, thank you for everything that you've been doing with our seniors. You are really blowing up the classroom with all those scholarships. So yes, take advantage, seniors. Thank you, seniors. Thank you, parents and families. Have a Thank good night, everyone. Have a good night, everybody.